Warning, the following video might contain content which is currently unacceptable for viewers under 18 in North America, 16 in Europe, or 13 in Asia. We are not responsible for demonetization, copyright claims, or anything that violates YouTube's copyright or community guidelines. We take those strikes, age restrictions, and claims seriously and report them to General Pepper for evaluation. Viewer discretion will be advised. Thank you for your cooperation. Second warning, this video contains signs of violence, and the new employees of Tailsland the Las Vegas Raiders fan 5000 are not responsible if this gets age restricted by the members of YouTube. The safety of everyone in this video is important to us. Yay. This is so fun. I love watching the men and women in the aerobics industry doing to win the title for America's best aerobic athlete. I hope Angela Simon will be the first one and can be the reigning in the 2025 Tailslandian Gardens National Aerobic Championship in Columbia, South Carolina next year. I hope Tom Nuke and Isabel will be the new hosts next year as well. And I hope Tailsland Martinson and Gabrielle Durham will be the first participants in the mixed pairs competition next year and the National Aerobic Championship will go on forever. Dr. Leo, get off the computer. That's enough screen time. You've been on the computer for long enough. Now, it's time for you, Zach, Vicky, and Ron to go to school. So get ready right this minute. No. I do not want to get off my computer. I want to continue watching the recap of the 2024 Tailslandian Gardens National Aerobic Championship in Boston, Massachusetts. And to add to that, I see some rumors that the 2025 Tailslandian Gardens National Aerobic Championship is going to be held in Columbia, South Carolina. And Angela Simon is going to be the champion in the individual competition's women's division. And also, I can't stop watching it. Again, the National Aerobic Championship is continuing forever. So please, let me continue watching it. Dr. Leo, the solar eclipse has come and gone. So all you have to do is go to school and be done with it. And no spells no. I hate my teacher Miss Akabana. I hate my principal Dr. Momoboshi. I hate Pee Pee Rabbit. I hate Don Quixote. I hate Gale. I hate Ari. I hate Koa. I hate Tito. I hate Silas. I hate the Cat Bronco duo. I hate Bertram. I hate Gibby. I hate Eleanor. I hate Olive. And, I, also, hate, Baby, Shark. They're all the worst people in the school. So please, can I stay home and watch the rest of the 2024 Tailslandian Gardens National Aerobic Championship in Boston to see who wins the title of America's Best Aerobic Athlete? Nope. You are going and that is final. And no, I cannot let you stay home today. So like I said, get ready for school and get on the bus already. I. Do. Not. Freaking. Care. I am still not going and neither you or my siblings can make me, you crazy woman. Dr. Leo, shut up. We, along with you, are going to school on the bus. 
get on the school bus with us right now or else you're grounded until Amtrak paints all of the P-42 DC locomotives in their very own Phase 7 paint scheme. Attention, we cannot show you the full argument due to the nature that contains swearing and cussing. We will now skip to where Dr. Leo and the others arrive at school. Update, the creator is too lazy to show you the arrival of Dr. Leo, his teacher, and his classmates. We will now fast forward to 35 minutes, after class started. P.S.S.T. Dr. Leo, why are you crying over here? Because P.P. Rabbit, I have one thing to tell you, and that is, I really hate school. And that is the number one reason I am crying. I wish that schools never existed in the first place. If schools never even existed, I would have saved a lot of money on my car insurance by switching to Geico. And we would be free for the rest of our lives. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Hey, hey, hey. This is not a Geico commercial. Oops. Sorry, Robosoft 3, my apologies. I'll erase the logo right away. <laughs> Well, that's not my problem, Dr. Leo, nor Don Quixote's. It's either the teacher's or the principal's problem. And for the most part, that Geico commercial really broke the fourth wall. Also, you don't own a car until you're either 16 or you get your driver's license. Look, here is the teacher, standing behind her desk. And that Geico logo and URL saying, Geico.com, really broke the fourth wall. It's the first video the fourth wall is broken. I hate to interrupt, Pippi and Donkey, but this isn't the first video that I thought it was a Geico commercial. The first time Geico broke the fourth wall is a video message from Tesla High School Assistant Principal Carolina Ramirez, and the second time Geico broke the fourth wall is from a news broadcast regarding Breeze Airways' new routes for 2023. This is the third time. And it's in a grounded video out of Little Hero Super Z villain Dr. Leo in the second season, and Robosoft 3, the primary narrator, told the announcer to erase the logo and the website URL that is under it. Oh. Dr. Leo, stop crying. We are all about to take a class, so stop crying, and you, Geico commercial announcer, quit breaking the fourth wall with your Geico commercial nonsense. Sorry, again. <laughs> Dr. Leo, what part of Stop Crying don't you bloody understand? And you, Andrew Anthony, what part of No Geico Fourth Wall Breaks don't you freaking understand? Anyways, welcome back to school, everyone. It's time for class to start, and the lesson we are learning in social studies today is the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse that happened not long ago. As all of you have heard, Trickshot is devastated, and he cried outside his car on the driver's side after he pulled over along the I-695 inner loop near exit 44. So please, don't talk to him as he continues his grieving process over it. He's too scared to go on I-695 until the bridge is rebuilt, so he goes through the Fort McHenry Tunnel on I-95 or the Baltimore Harbor Tunnel on I-895 until then. Baby Shark, can you be a good helper and pass out the papers as I pull up the article on Wikipedia? Sure thing, Miss Akabana. Ma'am. I am so sick of doing social studies via Wikipedia and the pre-made notes every early morning during the first hour. I don't want to work out on these problems anymore. Oh. I know what I can do. I am going to cheat off of PP Rabbit's paper. This is going to be so fun. Hey hey hey. What the bloody hell are you doing, Miss Agabana? Dr. Leo is trying to cheat off of my social studies paper about the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse when the container ship Dolly struck one of its peers. Dr. Leo, how freaking dare you try to cheat off of Pippi Rabbit's social studies paper about the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse when the container ship Dolly struck one of its peers. That does it. Go directly to detention with Mr. Tom Nook. 
who was recently hired by the Dravenberg Charter School staff, right now. Oh, and to add to that, as punishment, for attempting to cheat off of Pippi Rabbit's social studies paper about the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse when the container ship Dolly struck one of its piers, you will be getting a lot of extra homework tonight. Period. End of discussion. What? Are you serious right now? No. This can't be happening. It can't be. I don't want the garbage to happen to me again. Well, Dr. Leo, that's what you get for trying to cheat off of Pippi Rabbit's social studies worksheet about the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse when the container ship Dolly struck one of its piers. I don't know who the hell are you talking to, you are about to get another slapping in T-35 seconds, you lame yellow donkey with purple hair. Dr. Leo, you better sit your tail down right now because you are starting to piss me off, like Miss M and Friends, Episode 6, Driving School, in which my last name is Juniper. Make me, you stupid mutt. Go right now. And why do you hate school so freaking much? I freaking hate school because I don't give two shits about this school. And I don't give an extra two shits about my family and even my siblings. They are ugly, you hear me? U, G, L, Y. And if ugliness were bricks, they will be the Great Wall of China. Well, that reminds me of my brother. If ugliness were bricks, you'd be the Great Wall of China. Fuck you all. And fuck this class. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Dr. Leo, this is unacceptable behavior. Go to detention in Mr. Tom Nook's room right this minute, you son of a bitch. Fine. You know when I'm licked, I think Bluey should be cancelled after the sign, and the creators and Ludo Studio should all mean it. Get bent, I'm leaving. Cheers. Just a sheesh. The Krieger is too lazy to show Dr. Lee leaving, calling all the chubby chickens, and coming back in the classroom with the stolen hand gone from the weapon shop. Let's skip to where Poopy Rabbit is killed, shall we? Okay, Dr. Leo. I hope you finally learned your lesson. Now please take back your seat right this instant. First of all, what the hell is that thing? And second of all, what are your chubby chickens doing back here again? Dr. Leo, put that sniper rifle down right this minute or you will be expelled and banned from this school indefinitely. This crap isn't funny at all. Oh, and that shit isn't supposed to be fucking funny. This is me and my chubby chickens ultimate revenge for PP Rabbit who is sometimes getting me in trouble and being a crazy snitch along with Cabot in Safety Sheriff Labrador episodes graffiti pranks are dangerous, ghosts on a foggy day, don't eat too many cold treats, and the scary noise. He is always failing to attract attentions, likes showing off his talent, gets more attention, singing, and carrots, and dislikes anyone who gets more attention than him. Oh my gosh darn freaking god. Dr. Leo, stop pointing it at him right now. That's it, you are so expelled and banned from this school indefinitely. Dr. Leo, I said to freaking stop, did you not just hear me? I said you are officially expelled and banned from this school indefinitely. Stop pointing that gun at Pippi Rabbit right now. Shut your fucking mouth, Miss Akabana. Go fuck yourself already because Pippi Rabbit deserves to fucking die. Ready. Aim. Fire. No 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 Dr. Leo and all of your chubby chickens, I'm so sorry for always and sometimes snitching on you. Please, I will no longer snitch on you forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And I will always be your one and only best friend. Please don't kill me Dr. Leo Thomas. I don't care anymore. It's too freaking late for apologies, PP failure rabbit. Your apology is null and void and not accepted and will never be. And now, it's time to die, you snitch a super singer. Ready. Aim. Fire. Fatality. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
This is not a game of Mortal Kombat. I know, I know, no fourth wall breaks. No oh 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 Pippi Rabbit is my brother in East Dravenberg Academy. Why Dr. Leo? Why Chubby Chickens? Why did you kill my brother Pippi Rabbit? I'll tell you why, because he is a snitch to me sometimes once in a blue moon, you nasty donkey. That's why I killed that nasty bunny for always snitching on me just like you. If you try to snitch on me, I'll kill you too, along with Duck Duck, Purple Panda, Bob Dog, and Dodie Hody then blow up someplace else with a dozen explosives, you nasty donkey. She <laughs> sweet mother of God. Oh my freaking God. Dr. Leo, what in the name of Leanne Rhymes is wrong with you? I can't believe you killed Pippi Rabbit just he sometimes snitched on you once in a blue moon, and I can't believe you called Donkey Hody a nasty donkey. That's both mean and violent. That's so it. Go to Principal Dr. Stella Momoboshi's office right freaking now. Why the bloody hell do you have a shotgun rifle in your hands? Give it to me right now. I now, tell me, Dr. Leo, why the bloody hell do you have a Tell me right now. And only in your own state. You are now officially expelled from this school. In fact, this expulsion is indefinite. It will not expire and never will end. Thank you for watching. I wrote this comment myself saying, you should know that stealing and homicide are crimes to commit, and you are a repeat offender. And you did, you are wrong. Get out, 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 out. When Dr. Lee got home, Dr. Leo. What the bloody hell did you do at school that sent you home early at this time? You'd better not had done anything rude again. Well mom, dad, power Zack, wonder Vicky, and flash Ron, let me get this straight, you guys aren't going to like what I'm about to say next. But, I've killed PP Rabbit at school today by stealing an AK-47 sniper rifle from the weapons shop and also shot him to death with my chubby chickens because I wanted to get my ultimate revenge on him for being a snitch to me for always, sometimes, and once in a blue moon for getting me in trouble at school. In fact, that's how the story goes. Um, uh, you did what to Pippi Rabbit? You didn't just say that you killed Pippi Rabbit at school with your chubby chickens, did you? Tell us right now. Um, uh, as a matter of fact, I did, I did, I really really did. What the bloody hell? Oh 
out the video. Are you freaking serious right now? I can't believe you killed Pippi Rabbit at school with your chubby chicken thereby stealing an Alaska 47 sniper rifle. And now you are indefinitely expelled from school thanks to you. That's it, you are grounded until Bluey gets a fourth season from Ludo Studio via social media. You, Dr. Leo, are a disgrace to this family, and Storia in general and in various episodes of Little Hero Super Z on YouTube. Dr. Leo, I can't believe that you actually killed one of your favorite classmates, how bloody dare you. I'm going to get Zack, who just got a Samsung Galaxy A23 FE for Christmas, to call Pee, -Pee Rabbit's father was a rave bear, to apologize huge time, and then we are going to Pee Pee Rabbit's funeral, hosted by Dave Madsen, that's starting in a couple days, where you are going to say sorry to everyone about what you just did at school today. You, Dr. Leo, are in severe, but critical, trouble hyper time. Hello, this is Kate Ursus, Pee Pee Rabbit's father, who's this on the phone at this time? I'm sorry, this is not the best time to call me. You see? I have just received by far, the worst news I have ever gotten. I'm so sorry for calling you at this time of day, but you see, this is Zachary Jonas Eric Thomas, Nay Altberg Jr., half-brother of Dr. Leo Claude Bjorn Thomas, Nay Broom. Hey, aren't you Dr. Leo Claude Bjorn Thomas's, Nay Broom, half-brother, who is the former son of Joe Broom, the creator of Blue Way? Oh, so Dr. Leo Claude Bjorn Thomas, Nay Broom, is the one who killed my freaking son. Who is the brother of Don Quixote? I know, and that's what I just calling about to apologize hyper time. I cannot believe that Dr. Leo had did that homicidal crap to your son, who is the brother of Don Quixote. He is so freaking grounded until Bluey gets a fourth season. And if it's okay with you, we'll all go and attend Pippi Rabbit's funeral, where Dr. Leo will say sorry big time. Yes, that would be fine by me. But Zack, you didn't even say I was grounded yet. Well Dr. Leo. We all didn't think that we needed to tell you. Do you honestly think you're so freaking 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 grounded 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 for this? I can't believe you right now. You crazy ass retarded son of a bitch. Can I at least get another chance? No. Go to your room right now, you slime cake. I'll get you next time, Power Zack. Wa ah 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 A couple days later on the day of the funeral. Dr. Leo. Get your tail out of bed right now. The funeral happens at 9.30. So get up and get ready to go to the funeral right now. Okay, fine, you know when I'm licked, again. I'll get ready so you'll stop snitching on me the entire time. I'm sorry again. Thought with the vibe you're making crew members cannot share the scenes of Dr. Lee changing to his form clothes in the drop that will skip to the church where Pippi Rabbit's funeral is held. <laughs> We are gathered here to celebrate the life of Pippi Rabbit, or should I say super singer Pippi Rabbit? Anyways, would anyone like to come up to the stage and say a few words before Pippi Rabbit is buried under the ground forever? I possibly would. Pippi Rabbit was the best son that I could have ever asked for and adopted, making Don Quixote have a brother so she can share her toys and books and even her own bedroom. He always helps me around the house and always books trips by plane, train, bus, or even by car and he is always nice to almost everyone he met, including flight crews, train conductors, and more. I will always love him every step of the way, whether he is alive or not, he is always bargaining, no matter where we went, and he always looked good with Cabot by his side, even in his last days. He is always there for me whenever I needed him, and how much he always believed in me since the song Daddy DJ was released, and now that he's gone, I want to continue his legacy, but I don't know how, he had so much to live for, and, I wish his life wasn't cut so short, even when Bass Hunter released many songs and various albums that he just released throughout the years. And I would like to also add in that Pippi Rabbit is one of the best students in my class, even when he switched schools to where I teach, in all of East Dravenberg Academy. He's got amazing grades, as well as his sister, in every subject, even his sister, and he is never a bully to anyone and respected everyone in the school. And would you believe? He only got in trouble and graffiti pranks are dangerous, ghosts on a foggy day, don't eat too many cold treats, and the scary noise, all of which are episodes from Safety Sheriff Labrador. He had a bright future ahead of him, and I also wish that his life wasn't cut up so short. Thank you everyone, I appreciate it.
This is Ashley Alcabana, and I approve this message. And next I would like to add is that Pippi Rabbit is the best student of East Dravenberg Academy. Even after he transferred from another school somewhere in Tennessee, probably Fountain City Elementary School in Knoxville, where Tina Holt is the principal back then, and I was an 8th grade student at Corridan Central Junior High School in Indiana back then as well. He never was sent to my office for causing trouble. Well, and graffiti pranks are dangerous, he vandalized the town with graffiti but found himself on life support. In Ghosts on a Foggy Day, he dressed up as a ghost for a costume party but ended up in danger, and don't eat too many cold treats. He ate too many cold elements and suffered from acute diarrhea, and in the scary noise he disturbed his neighbors with loud music and due to this, he did community service. And lastly, but not the very least by no means necessary, we are so proud of Pippi Rabbit for his hard work. And we all love Pippi Rabbit to the moon and back. I hope you rest easy, Pippi Rabbit, and I hope to see you again one day. I'm Stella Momoboshi, formerly known as Miss Madsen, and I approve this message. Wow, the same fourth wall break two times in a row. I'm, insert name here, and I approve this message, thing is getting way out of hand. I agree, Tom Nook. The creator of this video is breaking the fourth wall by using public service announcement phrases, commercial slogans, and video game words not one, not two, not three, but four times. The first is Geico, the second is Mortal Kombat, and the third and fourth is, I'm, insert name here. I approve this message. These fourth wall breaks have to come to a complete end, and we mean it. Let's take a moment of silence to see how Peepy Rabbit was by far, truly the best son that I have ever had since we adopted him a few months ago. I wish that he wasn't killed and his life was cut so short. He was always giving me advices for future girls' generation songs and albums and I always take them very seriously. He always loved me, his sister, and his family, including his dad and teacher, and even the principal as well. You see, we went shopping at the mall together to buy him some great clothes, special belongings and everything, and that's what he loved the most out of it all. Then the next thing when he was a baby bunny, he was always crying so much until he started to go to sleep right after he was born, and that's why we truly love him the most out of us all. Then, at 10 years old, we adopted him and automatically enrolled him into East Dravenberg Academy and he started making new friends at school and he always loved his friends the most, including his best friend, Gail Lynx, and his new sister, Don Quixote. So Peepy Rabbit, may the stars shine upon you forever and ever and ever and ever and forever one, and we hope to see you again one day. Wow, another fourth wall break, and it's a girl's generation album this time. Need I say more? Pippi Rabbit was the best brother that I could ever ask for. I'm so sorry that couldn't talk to you on this day, and I wish we could hug each other one last time before you die. He's always doing funny things together. We went to a log cabin in the North Carolina mountains and met Mr. Beast for spring break this year. We had done everything we had done over the past few months. I love you so much to the moon and back. You are the purest soul that I ever met in 2024. And I'm going to carry on your legacy forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And I still don't feel so real without you. I gotta stay strong for the rest of my family and my last family and I'm losing myself more and more and more and more every day but you wanted me like this, so I'm going to stick in this world for you and I will always love you forever and always will. Long live Pippi Rabbit. Yours truly and sincerely, Don Quixote. And I hope a candle is lit in my room every day. Sorry to burst your bubble, but Salts and Sally's speeches cannot be seen. In that case, we skip to Dave speaking again. Now that everyone has come up to the stage, let's all say our final goodbyes, farewells, alohas, adios, 
au revoirs, auf wiedersehens, arrivederci's, sayonaras, annyeongs, du svidanias, du widzinias, zai gents, ma salamas, or whatever you call them, to Pippi Rabbit. So let's bury him under the ground, and he'll officially go to heaven, like many Windows operating systems that ended their support throughout the years, and he'll always be loved by God, the Lord and Jesus Christ forever and ever because he is always loved by God, the Lord and Jesus Christ for everything that they do for him. Now let's really go outside to the cemetery to bury Pippi Rabbit forever and ever under the ground for good. Wait, before you bury Pippi Rabbit under the ground outside in the cemetery, I have something that I have to say first. Get your ass off the stage right freaking now. Oh no. Bucky, what did you do? He pushed Dave off the stage to give something nasty about Pee Pee Rabbit. Pee Pee Rabbit was by far the worst person in the history of Tales Large and Gardens that I have ever met. Why did I ask? Because for five reasons. One, he always snitches on me to the stupid, nasty donkey named Donkey. Two, he will do anything to attract people's attention. Three, he is a mischievous, destructive rabbit and he loves to show his talent. He also wants everyone to see his singing performance. And 5. He wants to get more attention. As an added bonus, he also hates listening to others and loves doing what he wants. Just recently, he told on me to miss Akamana for knocking Don Quixote on the ground twice during lunch and recess, and I will always hate on him forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And well I disagree with you all, even you stupid cat Bronco Duper. I don't know where you idiots get all of their information from. Pee Pee Rabbit is a crazy ass snitch. He loved getting me in trouble at school. I freaking hate him so freaking much. And I'm glad that little piece of dog shit is dead. So fuck Pee Pee Rabbit, fuck Don Quixote, fuck God, fuck the Lord, and fuck Jesus Christ and every idiot out there. So this super singer nasty bun will go the bloody fuck to hell. He doesn't even deserve to go to heaven at all. So fuck off everybody, and for the Geico and Mortal Kombat announcers, fuck you both for the fourth wall breaks you caused earlier. And go fuck yourselves already. And Jessica, fuck you for leaving Girls Generation and SM Town back in September 2014. I am so done with you if you're hearing this, you mean old witches and idiot boys. Dr. Leo Claudio and Thomas, get your tail off the stage right this minute. You have no right to be on there without permission. You are going straight back to jail for a very long time to see how you like it. I hate to do this just to see where Dr. Leo was escorted out of the church to have me and we'll now skip to the scene where he was arrested. Woof! Dr. Leo, you are under arrest for having your chubby chickens steal a gun from a weapons shop, having one of them hand it to you, and also killed Pippi Rabbit. Do you even realize that stealing and homicide are considering crimes that you committed? I totally agree with Sheriff Labrador. Oh, and not to mention, there are people mourning for him at school a couple days ago, and now they're mourning for him at the Darden Catholic Church in Fort Klein, Georgia, which is turned into a funeral home. What the bloody hell has gotten into you today? First, you fought Don Quixote in the bus loop, causing her to get injured. Then you injured both Mau Mau and Bucky and gave them swirlies in the metal toilet at the park because the party was over early due to the storm next to Trick Shop while he's taking a dump in the neighboring stall. Then you beaten the hell out of Don Quixote and Purple Panda and also tried to nuke someplace else. Then you beaten the hell out of Pippi Rabbit and also tried to kill Mr. White Horse with Doggett's chef knife. Then you injured your new teacher Ms. Calypso and tried to attack Bluey and Bingo's parents with a chainsaw. Then you killed your teacher Miss Akabana and tried to choke Mau Mau and Bucky, the Cat Bronco duo, to death. And now you've killed Pippi Rabbit at school and tried to eat Bertram's snail, Raimundo, alive. Like what the bloody hell is wrong with you these days? Like, I can't believe these crazy ass actions you have seriously been freaking done from May 2023 to right here smack dab in the middle of April 2024. Oh, and I forgot to mention that you stripped down naked with your chubby chickens at school last time. Then you insulted your parents and tried to hold your siblings hostage. Then you skipped and ditched school in a lift to go to Molly Springs Diner and Hot Topic. 
attempted to go on a Delta Airlines flight from Fort Klein to Atlanta on a Bombardier CRJ-900 operated by Delta Connection to have sex with someone you always wanted to have sex with. You son of a bitch. And Pippi Rabbit is not a bitch, nor his sister Don Quixote, nor Jessica, nor any of the girls' generation members. You are a bitch, and will always be a bitch, just like in a Meredith Brooks hit. And you are also an idiot boy, like in the Spongebob Squarepants episode. Whatever happened to Spongebob? And you are also a mean old witch, even though we don't know the reference just yet. Woof! Get your tail inside the police car right now. You are going straight back to jail for a really 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 long time. And Officer Papillon is going to call your parents when you are being a bitch slash idiot boy slash mean old witch there. So, let's go now. We hope you learned your lesson. Sorry to do this again, but we cannot show Dr. Lee being transported to the county jail. In this case, we'll skip the way he's in a jail cell. Woof. This is your cell. You are going to stay in jail for a really 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 long time. That's not fair. I wish I could escape and get another chance at life. Nope, nah. -uh. You cannot escape. Otherwise we'll have a manhunt for you. Oh, and your parents and your siblings are here to ground you. So goodbye you idiot boy. Oh my gosh darn it 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 God damn it 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 Dr. Leo Claude Bjorn Thomas neighbor room how dare you kill Pippi Rabbit by stealing a sniper rifle with your chubby chickens from the weapon shop 30 miles down the road from your school that's it. You are so grounded 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 until Paw Patrol and Rubble and crew get new seasons. And while you are grounded, you will eat nothing but lumpy potatoes and sugar blast for every meal. Now lay down on your prison bed and sleep until the war between Israel and Iran is over or until Ukraine returns to normal after a couple years. I cannot believe this has happened to me. Can this day, week, month, or year get any worse? Here are the crew members who made this video possible. Bandit Healer, Bluey's father, True from True and the Rainbow Kingdom, Parappa Rappa the Rapper, Mario, who is voiced by Charles Martinet for a few decades, and Kyle Broflovsky from the 2023 era of South Park. Oh, and we do apologize for the following fourth wall breaks, Geico Commercial, Mortal Kombat, Fatality, and I approve this message, ads, twice, and Girls Generation album mentioning. Let's hope these don't happen in a future video. Did you know that this video is 10 minutes longer than the Bluey special episode, The Sign? Thanks for watching. If you haven't watched the 28 minute Bluey special episode, The Sign, watch it on Disney Plus. But we cannot upload it onto YouTube due to copyright issues. You can download it to watch offline if you choose. So, stay tuned for more. This is 2DCH Hodges, signing off. Bye for now.